Hey guys, um, I just wanted to kind of check in with y'all and show you some of the stuff I've been making. Um, this is a lot of beauty videos, so if you um, are subscribed to watch those, you know, just a warning. Um, this is kind of stuff I've been making with my Addy machine and kind of, um, you know, just stuff I've crocheted. So, um, this is the first finished product that I made with my Addy machine. It's a, um, it's a scarf, and I put pom-poms on the end. I just gathered the ends. Um... And I mixed the, the colors, um, the purple, um, a variegated and a dark purple for the, the pom-poms on the end. And I think it turned out really good. It's got a little dog hair on it, but I think it turned out really good. It's thick. I think it'll be warm. Um, I did make another one of these, um, almost the same thing, except what I did was I had, um, some blue and white loops and threads, the kind you get from uh, Michael's, and I did um, stripes on it, and I gave that to my mom, that's why I don't have it, for Mother's Day, because she has a purse that's blue and white like that, and I thought she'd really like it, and she did. And then, I'm so proud of myself, um, I learned to make hats. Now, granted, I think this hat is a little big. It fits my head, but I kind of have a big head. So, um, this is just um, like a red heart um, color change, variegated yarn, whatever you call it. This is my first attempt ever at crocheting a hat. And, um, this is the same, this one's the same hat, it's just got a different, I put the variegated stuff around the bottom. Um, and I did this from, um, this is the Crochet Zombie, um, YouTube, that's her YouTube channel name. And this is her, I think they call it, she calls it the, uh, reversible ribbed beanie. And, um, so I think I did pretty good for my first shot there on these two. And then I followed another one of her tutorials um, for it's kind of the same hat but small. Uh, my friend at work is having a baby and um, I thought it would be cool, you know, make her a couple hats if I could, if I could figure it out. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I haven't measured it so I don't know how big it is. But um, I also made this one. Um, with the little scallop like edges on the bottom so I thought that was super cute and um then I made this one this one is this is smaller this is like a um this, this is a half double crochet I believe or a double it's it's a smaller stitch and it's you know a smaller circumference so um I figured you know I'll make her several and I'll pick kind of which ones were the best that turned out but I think I did pretty good. This is the very first time that I've worked anything like in the round. That's how these are worked. And um, it was pretty simple. It was pretty, well, I will say, if you want to learn how to do that, um, it's kind of just put in the search bar of the crochet zombie and her tutorials are super easy to follow. Um, she explains things really well. Probably the best tutorials I've found. Um, now the fact that this is so big is my fault. I think um, I just you know, I crochet kind of loosely, so I think that that's, you know, why they're so big, but I don't mind that because they fit my head just fine. Um, but that's kind of, and if you can tell, um, they're all kind of the same color. I was just playing around with, um, I had bought the green and this to go together, and I was just kind of playing around with them, um, you know. And I'm going to try washing them because I know, um, that you can, and it makes the Red Heart yarn a lot softer because this yarn's kind of scratchy, and I don't want to give baby hats that are scratchy. So I'm going to try washing one of them first um, in like a um, lingerie bag and see how that turns out, and I'll let you know about that. But that's what I've been working on. So I've got like five hats, and I made two scarves. So um, yeah, I think I've been pretty productive, and um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If I can, I, I don't, I can't ever figure out how to do links in the information part, but I will put, you know, the crochet zombie down there so that you know, you know, that's where I got these patterns, so you can check her out, because her tutorials are awesome, and I'm going to try some more of them, um, you know, when I get a chance, but thanks for watching, All right, bye.